SpongeBob is an absolute beast. As a show and as a character, the franchise has been around for more than two decades, which may be most, if not your entire life. Now here's the ultimate question. How has he remained relevant for that long? Why does it feel like this show will never end? A legendary crew member has come forward to talk about it. This is Doug Lawrence. You know him best as the voice of Plankton, Larry the Lobster, and of course, my leg! Not only has he been around since the earliest days of Spongebob, but he also has creative roles when it comes to writing or story editing on the show. He also worked very closely with Steven Hillenburg. Basically, the guy's a legend, and he's part of the main Spongebob team, old and new. It's always cool to hear perspectives from people behind the scenes, so when a podcast came out featuring him as a special guest, of course I had to listen. This entire Spongebob Binge Pants episode is around 45 minutes long, and there's a ton of great stuff. I recommend checking it out if you have extra time. But if you want to know one of the major highlights, we'll have to jump towards the end of the podcast. They were talking about how Spongebob has gone on this long, and if he'll be around in the foreseeable future. Mr. Lawrence reveals his, and the rest of the crew's way of thinking, since day one. I don't know, it's hard to tell because certain characters, they go away, they come back, you know, maybe Spongebob will go away for a while like Bugs Bunny did, and then he'll come back, mm -hmm. and everyone will know him again. We try to make the show, you know, not topical. We only sh do shell phones when we need it. You know, we kind of <laughs> try to stay away from cell phones and those things just to sort of keep the a little more uh, timeless, you know? Yeah. So we've always been conscious of that. But I think that's part of it, too, is, is just that you can relate to it on in any time period. We're skeptical as to whether putting new shows with the same characters was a was a mistake so we you know and, mm. and uh, we wanted to make quality shows and funny shows and i think they are so they so you know you don't have to like all of them or or any of them but i think the fact that it's still there now and we're still making these things at this point is a good sign for the future i think it'll be around at least a little bit longer yeah. and maybe there's room for it in the future i hope there's still slapstick humor in the future i hope there's still room for you know my leg and junk yeah. like that <laughs> <laughs> So, Spongebob is meant to be timeless, the character is also relatable to everyone, and honestly, he never gets old. That could be thanks to Tom Kenny constantly bringing his all, I love this guy. It could be the writer's room, Spongebob's cheerful personality, or a solid mix of everything I just mentioned. Still, it's easy to understand the team's perspective. If you really think about it, Bikini Bottom has remained mostly the same since season 1. Obviously, this show is like night and day if you're comparing old and new, but in terms of setting and the established rules from 1999, it feels like most of what the crew stuck to is still around today. Real world events aren't addressed, the characters don't use much technology, Bikini Bottom feels like it's in a time bubble of sorts, one where everything is the same. Now during the podcast, Mr. Lawrence mentions that he also does whatever he can to keep the original show's spirit alive. Even with new artists and crew members joining the team, he makes sure that Spongebob is still Spongebob. And listen, I'm not gonna act like the show now is as good or anywhere near as good as it was in the golden years. However, I'll admit that I still do love Spongebob as a franchise. It's true there's no end in sight right now, but the original crew members are trying to make this series timeless. They want old and new viewers to have fun with the episodes, which explains why it's still going now. Now there are probably a few of you out there who have given up on Spongebob entirely. Maybe you think the show sucks now, and that's fine. I still say the overall quality increased after the second movie. You got episodes like Bulletin Board, Feral Friends, Big Birthday Blowout, and Mimic Madness. Wow, all of those have alliteration. I didn't plan that, but I'll go with it. Trust me when I say there are some genuine must-watches from the modern era. What matters here is that despite everything, the main Spongebob series is still oozing with life, and it still feels like Spongebob. Just like Mr. Lawrence said, the team is trying to keep the show relatable and keep the core values from 1999. Say whatever you want about modern Spongebob, but you gotta respect their determination. Yeah, especially with Steve gone, it, it's it's been mm. uh, more of a. Uh, if we're gonna keep doing this, if we're gonna keep up with this, it's gotta be of the quality that of the bar that was already set. You know what I mean? Right. The bar was already set at a high place, and so the only place for us to go is higher, not lower. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.